Yeah, my name is Carole Maman. I am the Chief Investment Officer of BIO. So the Belgium Investment Company for Developing Countries is uh, the Belgian Development Financial Institution. This is uh, a company that is 100% state-owned, so owned by, uh, by Belgium. Our role is to, uh, to uh, invest in the private sector only for impact. Impact meaning uh, economic growth, jobs uh, and uh, development for, for, uh, for the countries. So in Africa, we, uh, we, uh, we have 50% uh, of our activities are dedicated to Africa, both uh, West Africa and East Africa. So um, BIO's focus is really the small and medium enterprises. Belgium is very much an SME country, a bit like Kenya, and uh, our focus is to, to support the development of, uh, of the SMEs. So SMEs are really core in our strategy, but we do also invest in other sectors like renewable energy, like agribusiness, clean cooking, uh, and uh, digital companies. So all these sectors are very uh, key core in our, in, our, in our investment strategy. Maybe what I would like to say first is that uh, our investments are, as I mentioned, for impact, and impact means sustainability. Sustainability in very diff different ways. First one is financial viability, that's key. When we do an investment, it's to support a project that we trust, uh, where we believe that uh, there will be a long-term sustainability for, for the company. But sustainability is also environment, to uh, ensure that uh, the, we mitigate as much as possible the environmental impacts of, of the projects, water treatment, uh, climate risk, uh, um, any so topic linked to environment, but this is also social. Social meaning decent incomes, uh, meaning employees, jobs. So those are the, uh, the, the three topics that, uh, that we uh, we, we want to brought forward each time we invest and those are really the uh, things that we investigate in our, in our work. So we're providing uh, uh, different types of financing, either through uh, equity or through loans. Uh, in equity, we have uh, a strategy of uh, working with private equity funds. There are many funds with which we are working in East Africa, including TLCOM, uh, including Ascent, uh, uh, Spark Plus, which is a clean cooking uh, fund, and others. We also are investing in equity in financial institutions. But we're also providing loans, uh, loans that goes from 1 million to uh, 15 million euros. And that's a bit uh, uh, what uh, differs, what, uh, what is a bit uh, different uh, uh, for BIO compared to other development financial institutions, the fact that we can invest in this uh, target of one to three million investment that uh, is better fit for, for, for smaller enterprise or mid, small to mid-sized enterprises. Well, in East Africa we've been investing for, for many years, for, for 15 years. Um, I would say the main milestone that I, I want to uh, to, uh, to, to discuss is uh, our opening three years ago of uh, our Nairobi office and so to the, today is the official opening but in fact we opened uh, pre-COVID uh, pre and um, the objective behind this, uh, this, uh, the opening of the o or this office is to uh, expand and to deepen our work in, uh, in East Africa so to go beyond the financial institutions and to go beyond the funds and invest also directly in, uh, in SMEs and smaller financial institutions uh, as well. Well, reaching the market is, uh, there are all these informal SMEs for which we believe that uh, there's a, it's more the work of microfinance institutions or leasing companies 
that can really provide the products and uh, also foster the, 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 the financial relationship with, uh, with in the informal sector. Now, afterwards, there are the SMEs that really want to, to um, upscale and to uh, improve their governance, to take on a larger uh, market share and uh, to, uh, to become also uh, uh, more scalable, to, uh, to, to think about the succession because those are family-owned business and they know that if they want to have the succession, they need to institutionalize. And that's really uh, the work that we can do directly with the SMEs. I think uh, what you should expect are new, um, new projects that will be announced uh, quite soon um, in the digital sector, in the agri-sector, uh, in clean cooking sectors. So those are, I think, the, the, the key areas of interest in the, in the coming uh, uh, months. And more recently, we have also uh, finalized uh, mezzanine financing for uh, Victoria Commercial Bank. Um, so we are here and um, we are very ambitious also in uh, our wish to, uh, to develop uh, our impact and our investments in the region.